my... What do I have? Hold up. Big back, giant, let's go, baby. No, he got off, he got off. Dang it. Still learning how to launch a boat, it looks like, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if we can make fun of him on his own program or not here, but. Picking your jig color says a lot about a man. Okay. <laughs> so this is my box of uh, of jig, walleye jigs. Yeah, these yeah. are all Northland Fireball jigs. We're gonna use a leech today. Okay. So these are kind of mm. designed for fishing with live bait. They got sort of a short shank. Yeah. And uh, so you can put the bait on there and then you don't, you know, it just doesn't look good when you use a normal jig with a long hook. I when gotcha, I bait. gotcha. These are better. They don't twist your line. But yeah, like there's a lot of jigs with some pink on them in here. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I, I just, I'd like to, like to see what color you choose oh my okay see, he's well, got a so he's trip. got a pink that's not pink it's like glow red glow that's pink <laughs> that's, that's, that's most that's most definitely pink Cause he, i'm gonna go with the green orange and yellow i mean yeah. blue orange it's called and yellow. parrot parrot just like a parrot all right bait today bait of choice leeches canadian leeches and uh Tyler wanted to, you know, make some kind of bet with me that the loser today has to eat one of these. So I don't think that's probably a wise decision on his part because I guide for these things. I've probably caught like 20,000 walleyes in my life and uh, there's not a chance that he's going to beat me today. I really would not want to eat one of these things. Like look at them crawling around. They are completely harmless, but we don't want to be eating one of All these. Right. So yeah. these leeches, they got... Uh, sort of a tail skinny end okay. and they got a sucker end that's a little fatter so mm. so I usually I like to hook lots of people will just hook them once through the sucker that's fine but yeah. they'll these things will pluck them off pretty easy so I usually go through the top through the sucker and then just sort of once more like through the side okay. and when that thing's in the water it's just gonna be you know fluttering and through the sucker. undulating and that's fine just drop it down just like that mm. Delicious. So after all that uh, walleye explaining, you're probably wondering who this guy is and why he's so good on camera. This is my good buddy Jeff Gustafson. We met last summer uh, at Scott Martin's uh, Scott Martin Challenge up at Rainy, and so we fished together. And then he called me like the Texas stick or something, and I caught all the fish in the boat. So it was it was a fun time. <laughs> and uh, he's yeah. now teaching me out here on Lake of the Woods how to catch walleye. But yeah, we're gonna catch some walleyes today and cook them up and have a traditional Canadian shore lunch. So. Good deal. So this is an episode of Monsters of Minnesota. Yes, we're in Canada for the third time, but we're gonna have some monster fish tacos or whatever the heck you make out of these. That's what's, that's what's gonna be the monster today is what's in my stomach, so. <laughs> Unless yeah. we just catch a giant walleye. We, and you know what, we could. We might catch a big one out here. Yeah. We're, we're mostly gonna catch, you know, eater-sized fish. Cool, cool. And uh, those are the ones that are the best to eat. Yep. If we catch any big ones, we're gonna let them go, but, uh, yep. but yeah, we, we got a good shot of catching a big one out here, too. Sweet, so stay tuned, folks. It's gonna be a yummy time. Hi, my name is Jeff Gustafson from Kenora, Ontario. I live on the shores of Lake of the Woods and I've been fishing since I was five or six years old. I've been fishing the FLW Tour for five years now and uh, it's, it's fun to get to a, get out of here. I live in a beautiful place right here, but in the winter it gets long and, and it's cold. So it's nice to head down south to Florida and Texas and Alabama and fish fish for the winter and fish some tournaments um, but so it's fun I have a lot of, I enjoy it I've uh, you know I've taken some bumps along the way and learned the hard way a few on a you know plenty of different bodies of water but uh, overall I've you know I've gotten to be pretty competitive over the last few years and and live for for doing it 
And I've been lucky though, you know, just to be able to, I went to university, I was kind of on the keep mom happy program, got it done, but I've never really had a real job in my life. I've been sort of, you know, self-employed in the fishing world as a guide um, in tournament angler and you know over the last several years I've done my own TV show I do a lot of outdoor writing and photography and you know obviously like social media is a big deal now but I do you know all these different things within the outdoor world and and get to stay busy and and uh, travel lots of cool places and meet lots of great people Tyler being one of them well I will I not <laughs> when I'm down in Alabama, they do not appreciate A very much. I get, uh, huh? You see, boy? Oh, you got one? We're on the board. Oh, boy. Little guy. Little guy? But it might be uh, what we're looking for for lunch. <laughs> Didn't even lose my leech, so that's also bonus. Um, But yeah, that's just a good little eater walleye. So I probably cooked like a thousand shore lunches in my life. Yeah. I started guiding out here when I was like 14 years old at uh -huh. some of the tourist camps and yep, stuff. Yep. So that's it. That's what a lot of people, thousands of people come up to Ontario every year to catch uh, catch these guys. So you can kind of see a few distinctive things about walleyes. They have a white tip on their tail uh -huh. right there. So if you hear people here, like a lot of times you'll hear us say white tails or white tips. Yep, that's yep. what we're talking about. Gotcha. And then they got, yeah, pretty, pretty cool dorsal fin. They got spines on it, so they can they can get you when you grab them. You want to go like that, uh -huh. and then they can't get you. But but yeah, that's it right there. So that's like a you know 15 incher. They'll get uh, you know 30 inches like a 10 pounder. That's a trophy. That's okay. like a 10 pound bass. I got you. So wow. Yeah. So we're gonna throw him in the tank and get uh, get a few of these guys, and we're gonna eat good. Yeah. Dang it, Gussie. Little guy. <laughs> This one's gonna be probably a, a too small catch and release area. Yeah. Oh yep. Baby. Baby. Got, him. Got that one. <laughs> oh, little guy. Little guy. Bring him in here. My second walleye of the day. And he took my leech. But hey, you know what? That's okay. Because he's still a beautiful fish. Oh wow, that was a fantastic bite. Yeah, there's a few down there. You snapped me off. Ooh, pike. <laughs> Definitely a pike then. Definitely a bike. Didn't even get to set the hook in him, just a tick and gone. I had one of them gators. Oh, oh pike. Plucked my leech. Oh. That was a nice one too. We're into him, folks. Yeah, Drop the pole. We're about to lay a beating on him here, I think. That a boy. <laughs> I called it, folks. He's gonna have somebody's leech in there. Oh no! Demo. Oh! <laughs> Does that count? Nope. No, because we would have ate that one. Would you really? Yeah. Oh no! Shoot, folks. Oh, Gus, he's got one though. Little guy. Going in the tank. Today guys, I'm using the uh, the Lose TP1 speed stick. It is basically just a drop shot rod and I thought it'd be best applicable for these walleye up here because I don't want to, you know, yank on them with a shaky head rod. So throwing that with, I think, 15 pound braid and an eight pound floral leader to a, to a Lose spinning reel. So hopefully we can keep whacking them and I can't uh, keep losing them though. Not keep that going. But yeah, that's what, that's the right Ooh. setup, bud. Medium action rod, just like that. That's that feels bigger. Nice. So yeah, when you get them up here, just flip them in, just like you're bass fishing. That's Ooh. a honey. That's a good one. Double. Oh, we're on them. We gonna be eating good, boys. So yeah, that's it right there. You probably can't see them because the sun's so bright right now, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's uh, that's why. Thousands of people come up to Ontario every year to catch these things. And yeah. You're going to see why when we eat them in a little bit. Woo. Uh, okay, I'll take these. All We're right. going to catch a few more. Good deal. Oh, he's got one. <laughs> Drag. 
it's not a it's not a big one. I probably could tighten it up a little bit. Yeah. It's just so nice and calm right now. I gotta go oh, through yeah. that. Beautiful walleye. That's it. Right here in Lake of the Woods. Lake of the Woods walleyes. Hello, my name is Jeff Gustafson. <laughs> I'm so happy you can pronounce my name normally. There's nobody, there's nobody <laughs> do it, right? Southern people can't. What did they say? Gustafsson. <laughs> Everyone does. Yeah, yeah, what? Scott, Scott Martin <laughs> couldn't, couldn't. <laughs> hey Scott, I know you watch YouTube videos. And yeah, he can't say my name. To, wow. He couldn't to save his life. Jeff Gustafsson of Gussie. Jeff Gustafsson. Jeff Gustafsson, affectionately known as Gussie on the FLW Tour. I used to travel with uh, one of my good buddies, Blake Nick. He's from Alabama. Uh -huh. Like, full southern buddy of mine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he can't, he can't do it. We've sat in the hotel room and I'm trying to like train him how to say my name. Yeah. And he really struggles, so. This one feels a little bit better, maybe. Yeah. yeah. That's a beaut. That's, That's it, awesome. right there. <laughs> well, wow. we can get one more, one more to eat, and we're gonna have the like a primo lunch. And then All we can right. just, we'll catch a few more and throw them back. For but. sure. Those are about as good as it gets to eat right there. Like that's wow. that's perfect. So good deal. These are gonna be so good, boys. Hey hey. Got something. This feels like an eater. Oh nope. <laughs> Not quite. Baby. Little baby one. Nope. Don't you get me though, buddy. Nope. Ah, I lost my leech. But yeah, it's kind of a relaxing way of fishing for people that, you know, like me you and I bass fish, so yeah. I it's more fun to like be it's more visual and you're casting exactly. and using artificial baits but this is a you know this is a really relaxing trip for people to come and do this and then when we eat them you're gonna see why yeah i'm excited you put the time in to catch these things all camera guys taking breaks <laughs> that's why you don't take a break from filming taylor don't be talking smack <laughs> Got it. oh no he took mine too <laughs> that was, that, see that that's quick on your feet right there. Oh, it was a pike. Oh, wow, you got snipped off again. Oh, oh. all right. That's a nicer one, bud. You're going to want to get the net, probably. So. All right. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the big wow. white tip coming up. That's huge. Yeah, that's a big dog. Oh, man. Ooh, just came off, too. Big one. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so it's hard to believe like we're catching those little guys That's crazy. and there's a million of those, but you these are normal up here most lakes, especially yep. on Lake of the Woods. Um, you can catch these every day too. That's cool. Yeah, they're wow. just sort of mixed in with uh, with the other ones down there. Beautiful fish. Yep. Man. Sweet. He said they're no good for eating, so we're gonna gonna let this beauty go. Yeah, that's a chunk. Right oh, here. here we go. See ya. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, with that, I think we are going to uh, head and do a shore lunch with that big one. <laughs> yeah, let's go eat them. They're, uh, they're, these things are so good to eat. Good so, uh, yeah, we'll all be leaving there like, oh, we won't be able to move after, but yeah, yeah. it's all good. Good deal. You know, at heart, I'm a bass fisherman, but living on Lake of the Woods, it's, it's made me a better all-around angler. And it's probably the best multi-species lake in the world when you consider, like, world-class options for walleye bass, um, both smallmouths and largemouths, muskie, pike, panfish, lake trout. So, you know, I'm pretty comfortable fishing shallow water, deep water, using my electronics, and, you know, traveling around on, a, on the, you know, on national tournament circuit, you definitely have to be versatile. So I think growing up around here, you know, catching all these different species has made me made me a little bit more competitive um, as I travel, you know, across the country competing in bass tournaments. I think fishing is a great activity for people of all ages, and that's sort of the beauty of it. Like, there's no um, anybody can do it. It doesn't discriminate against uh, you know anything really. So um, Tyler does a really good job through his videos of of showing the real real fishing in real life I mean it's not always big fish sometimes you don't catch them very good and sometimes you do but he uh, he's a pretty good teacher and and that's why I think a lot of people enjoy watching his videos <laughs>
That's like as good as it gets right there for eating people. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you can see how they break apart. It's kind of scoop them. Yeah. It's all good. Yum. And walleye. Oh, man. All yeah, right. Cream corn. So I was saying earlier. I don't ever eat it with anything else, but with fish, it's excellent. Especially like this, just like a little sauce to put mm -hmm. on there. And some beans, that's like a staple on the Canadian shore lunch for sure. Mm. All right, <laughs> dig in folks. It is beautiful out here guys, the, the scenery and just the, the I, can't, I can't explain it. You guys have to come visit this place for yourself just to be able to sit on an island like this, nobody around. Just the water, clear as clear as water, clear as gin clear. There we go. <laughs> Just awesome out here. I love it. Why do you fish? Why do I fish? I, uh, you know, for me, it's I love exploring. I love being outdoors, and and then I'm I'm competitive by nature, so that's sort of my, you know, leads into the tournament stuff, but. Uh, but I love to go on new new bodies of water, areas of, you know, like Lake of the Woods, this is a million acre lake, 14,000 islands, and you could never fish it all in your lifetime. So it's fun to come out here because you can always mix in new water where whatever part of the lake you're in. And, um, you know, I've spent a few thousand days out here, so there's lots of stuff I've fished many times, but, uh, but I do, I love exploring, and that's probably the fav my favorite aspect of just fishing in general. My name is Jeff Gustafson, and I'm a Canadian bass angler. Gustafson. <laughs> Good stuff, boys. Yeah. Very good. Good stuff. Well, everybody, we are going to uh, end the episode right there. First off, I want to thank Gussie for taking us out. He just had LASIK surgery a few days ago. I just got some laser surgery done on my eyes a couple days ago, so my vision isn't uh, isn't 2020 right now. I'm probably legally blind. Can't exactly see very well, but no. he's, he's sacrificing his. Uh, if we were bass fishing, you probably would have kicked my butt because I wouldn't have been able to see all the boulders and yep. stuff to cast to, but... Well, he's sure dang good at uh, finding walleye and cooking them without his vision, so... <laughs> well, thank Wal Gussie for I was going to thank Walleye for coming out. <laughs> I guess I'll thank the Walleye for coming out, too. But thanks, Gussie, for coming out. If you guys want to check him out on Instagram, Facebook, it'll all be linked below. I'm glad I can call him a buddy. I didn't know he was so big and famous up here until I, you know, met him a little bit. And we were already friends at that point, so... <laughs> it was cool. Well, no, you're uh, you're a good pal, and uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll do it again. I agree. If you guys like this episode, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I think we're on episode three or four now of Monsters in Minnesota. It has been a blast. We're actually about to head back down to the state where this uh, this series originates from, Minnesota, and catch some giant smallmouth on Mille Lacs with JP Kimbrough. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Wait. Good job. I guess y'all can't really call girls dimes here because y'all don't have American money.
We have dimes. Yeah, they have dimes. Oh, y'all do you have yeah. dimes? Yeah. We have a yeah. 10 cent. Do y'all call them dimes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> I didn't know. Did I get the bottom? Yeah, get it, get it. That's a, oh, those are awesome for doing hook sets with. Come on, bud. I'm sorry. You should know better. 